What if you can build a digital product business without the endless guesswork of what to create? Imagine combining your expertise with AI-powered market insights for a clear roadmap to success. Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Jo, and I help creators with digital products, passive income, and tech. And in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT to get digital product ideas before waiting weeks to create something nobody wants. So you think that creating digital products is all about having the most creative, innovative idea out there? Well, actually, that's the number one thing that's killing your online business before you even get it off the ground. Here's what happens to most creators. You spend hours brainstorming the perfect digital product idea. You get really excited about it. And then nothing. No sales, just the painful silence of your product sitting there collecting dust. I've experienced this myself firsthand, and I spent three weeks creating a gorgeous Canva template with amazing colors and all these really cute little extras. I mean, the template was really well designed, but I created it based on what I thought people wanted, rather than what they would actually pay for. And this common mistake is why so many digital products fail before they even have a chance. Let me break down the two deadly traps most creators fall into. First is creating something way too broad, like social media tips for everyone or the productivity planner for busy people. When your product tries to help everyone, it ends up helping no one. And potential customers can't even see themselves in your marketing, so they just scroll past it. The second mistake is creating something too specific, like something random like Instagram reels for left-handed knitters or meal planning templates for vegan marathon runners who have peanut allergies. Oof, that was a mouthful. Your product might be perfect for that really tiny audience, but there aren't enough customers to sustain your business. And it's kind of annoying, but the market doesn't really care how much work you invest in your product. If it doesn't meet a real need, it's not going to sell. And this is exactly why I created my Digital Product Academy, because figuring out what to sell shouldn't feel like throwing darts in the dark. Inside, I walk you through my system so you can validate your product ideas fast without second guessing whether they'll sell. And one of the free tools that I have inside the Digital Product Academy is so simple, you will kick yourself that you didn't use it sooner. Now, something that can feel really overwhelming and tedious to most creators is research. Because let's be real, most people skip this step and that's why their products don't sell. I mean, who wants to spend weeks surveying people and analyzing competitors when you could be designing and making a digital product instead? But there is good news. AI tools like ChatGPT are completely changing the game on this. What used to take weeks of boring research can now be done in minutes. And honestly, it's kind of fun. You can get instant feedback on your ideas, identify customer pain points, and validate your concepts before creating anything. However, the key is asking the right questions. And that's what I'm going to show you today. A simple four-question framework that combines your experience with AI's incredible research power. And this combination works magic for developing digital products people actually want to buy. And here's where most entrepreneurs get this completely wrong, because they think that creativity matters more than market demand. They believe having a unique, never seen before product will make it really successful. And that's kind of backwards thinking. What you actually want to start with is starting with people who actually want your product. What problems they're desperate to solve and what solutions they're already looking for. If your customer has a very painful problem and you solve that problem quicker, better and more efficiently than they can, they will give you money for that. That's the simple truth. And my AI-powered question framework will help you discover exactly those painful problems worth solving. But what's the difference between a $0 product idea and a $10,000 one? Well, really, it's all about the way that you're using AI tools, not which one you're using. And here's the honest truth that no one's talking about. ChatGPT doesn't automatically understand your audience or your skills. When you ask it for digital product ideas without any context at all about who you are or who you serve, you're essentially handing a map to somebody with no landmarks and then just not going to understand it. Let me show you what happens in the real world. When I typed in, give me digital product ideas into ChatGPT, it gave me the most generic list imaginable. Ebooks, online courses, templates, printables. Ugh, heard it before. This stuff was straight from any make money online article from 2010. These suggestions were boring, untargeted, and would probably lead to zero sales. The magic really happens when you get specific. I've seen so many creators just get so frustrated with ChatGPT when it suggests generic product ideas that are not feeling useful. But when they refine their prompts, adding details about their expertise, audience, and specific challenges, the results 
completely change. And suddenly, ChatGPT starts generating product ideas that feel like the perfect fit. And when creators apply this approach, they start seeing more targeted, profitable ideas, ones that align with their niche and solve real customer pain points. And that's the power of this human AI partnership. This approach works across any niche as well. So whether you're in fitness, business coaching, art, or tech tutorials, your unique combination of knowledge makes your digital products stand out. I personally used this method to validate my digital product Kickstarter kit last year. I quickly identified market gaps, understood my audience's struggles, and then I created a solution for these specific pain points. And that product has made me over $2,000. When you combine your expertise with AI's ability for research, it's like having a marketing team that works around the clock. The secret to leveraging AI effectively isn't just knowing that you need to be specific. It's knowing exactly what to ask. That often comes down to just a few words in your prompts. Well, I've got this process down to four power questions that's consistently unlocking game-changing digital product ideas that actually sell. Okay, so let me walk you through my four question framework that transforms ChatGPT into your personal digital product goldmine. Question one, based on my experience with your skills or knowledge, what unique strengths do I have that could solve problems in the health, wealth, or relationship categories? Now, this question forces ChatGPT to focus on your specific expertise instead of generating random ideas. For example, if you're amazing at managing time while working from home with kids, include these details. The AI connects your unique strengths to problems people actually pay to solve. Once you've identified potential problems you can solve, move on to question number two. Question number two, create a detailed buyer persona for someone struggling with problem from question one including their biggest pain points, what solutions they've already tried, and what would make them instantly purchase a solution. Now, this question helps you understand exactly who needs your product and why they would buy it. You're building a solution specifically designed for a person with real problems. With your ideal customer clearly defined, it's time to move on to question three. Question three, analyze these top three competitors in your niche space and identify specific gaps in their offerings that my product could fill. This helps you find the perfect market position where your product can stand out. You'll discover where competitors are falling short. Maybe it's missing key features or ignoring certain pain points or failing to solve a specific problem. And these gaps represent prime opportunities for your product to shine and capture customer attention. Now, here's where most people would stop because they think that they would be enough. But the truly successful creators take one more crucial step with question number four. Question number four. Please analyze my survey data from my customers and identify which of the product ideas has the strongest market validation. This is where you bring in real feedback from actual humans. Maybe you've run a quick Instagram story survey, collected email responses, or gathered feedback in a Facebook group. ChatGPT helps analyze this data to confirm which ideas have genuine real world demand. For example, you could be a course creator and you could be deciding on three different topics. And after inputting feedback from a simple five question survey, ChatGPT can help you identify the topic with significantly more demand and urgency, which will save you so much time and avoid creating a course that wouldn't sell. Now, what makes these four questions really powerful is how they complete the picture. Your unique strengths, your ideal customer needs, market gaps that you can fill, and validation from real customers. Together, they reveal your perfect niche, detailed customer pain points, strategic market opportunities, and a clear path forward. And all of that in minutes instead of weeks. And you guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret right now. The creators who consistently create digital products that actually sell aren't necessarily the most creative or tech savvy people out there. The real difference is that they simply know how to ask the right questions before they start creating anything. And that's why I created my Genia Office AI inside the Digital Product Academy. It basically does all of the heavy lifting for you automatically. It's like having your own personal product research team working 24 seven to help you find those gold nugget ideas people will actually pay for. And if you've enjoyed today's content, please don't leave empty handed. I've got freebies waiting for you in the comments below. Or if you want to go deeper, check out my free training on creating digital products that sell on autopilot and make passive income. But don't stop now. If you're serious about making digital products work for you, my next video is where things get really, really good. So definitely check it out because it's going to help you level up even further.